Hey everyone, Mike here. What I want to do is go over how I make my own EP fibers using this uh, Bonnie craft cord. Uh, I did see a post where somebody bought this and was wondering what they could do with it. Um, and one of the things that I found is that you can actually make your own EP fibers. Now this Bonnie cord comes in a number of different colors. Uh, I like white because it actually colors up, takes a marker pretty well. Um, it's, it's actually pretty easy to turn this cord right here into this right here. Here's the cord and this is what I combed out to get what is actually EP fibers. Now I, buy a, I had bought tons of this stuff in the past and I probably have um, a bunch of it, but what I paid for this uh, strand of uh, EP fibers, just this one strand, uh, I could make hundreds of these with just one roll of, um, of bonnie cord. So as you can see right here, this stuff, it really is essentially the exact same thing. Once it's combed out, if you comb it out properly. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how I do that is, um, and, and actually what I end up making are these um, nice little flies right here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that right there is going to be a dynamite little fly for my smallmouth this summer. And hopefully that'll be happening real soon. Uh, but anyway, what I'll do is I'll cut off a piece of this bonnie cord and if both ends are not checked, and what I mean by that is uh, melted down to prevent any pulling out of fibers on the end that where you are pulling it out, <clears throat> um, you, you, you want to make sure that you do that so that as you pull, you don't pull a whole strand of the weave out and it really kind of messes everything up. Now, what you would do to get started is you take a regular old bodkin and you just start pulling the fibers out. And you have to pull them out. It, it does take a little bit of time. And if you're a, if you're a commercial tire, then yeah, at, by all means, go with this stuff here. You're gonna to wanna to put them together fast and, and get them out there. But if you're a hobbyist like me, um, and you wanna save money, I mean, really save money, people make fun of, well, you're not gonna make save money tying your own flies. Well, yeah, actually you can because you don't have to have the be the absolute you know, best hooks out there. You don't have to have the absolute best materials out there. When you can you know, get the cheaper ones, uh, I have these mustads uh, that I will use. I, now look, I do use Universal Predators. Those are a really good hook to use on uh, poppers because it, it's a lighter hook and it allows it to, um, allows it to float better. And I do use Gamagatsu B10S hooks. I do have dozens of other different brand sizes, uh, makes, models, whatever you want to call it. But uh, the Partridge and the Gamagatsu are my two favorite hooks for my own personal use. But there's nothing wrong with using a Mustad hook. Um, these cheaper ones, they're a Sprout hook. It's a, 30, a 3366BR. Uh, it, it, it comes in packages of 100 and I paid six dollars and ninety or six dollars and thirty nine cents for a hundred hook size four. That's a good standard size hook that's going to end up again giving you a uh, a fly that looks like this right here. And sorry, I actually seem to be rambling on and not getting right to what it is that this video is about, and that's making your own EP fibers. So what we're going to do is pull out the fiber here or the strands. Uh, and then make the fiber. These are strands that are woven together to make one great big long cord. It's the same material again as the EP fibers. And as you'll see, you'll end up with something that looks just like this. And it's, it's actually a pretty easy thing to do. And you just make sure that when you pull the, the uh, strands out, that you, that you pull all the way past the end of the um, of the cord because if you don't, if you stop part way through like that right there, then the cord is going to be wrapped on itself and when you pull the next one through, it's going to, it's going to knot up. You don't want it to knot up at all because that just won't uh, provide you with what it is that you're looking for. <clears throat> so as I do this, I make sure that you again pull it all the way through. And, and you might kind of rotate it too as you go around 
like this, pulling it through so that you're getting all, all of the strands um, all the way around. All right, actually that's far enough, you get the idea. Now what I've bought is this uh, pet grooming tool. Um, actually, this is not a pet grooming tool, I take that back. This is called a felting tool uh, that you can purchase. Uh, I got mine on Amazon and I'll have a link in the video on my YouTube channel below the video and I'll show you what you want to do because this does not look all that great. This is what you want to end up with this is what you get when you unravel the strands from the woven uh, cord. So, you just go ahead and do what I did there. You pull all, this, all the strands out, and then you'll take this felting tool with all these little metal fingers and just brush it out. And as you're brushing, rotate it like this. And that will pull the, the, um, the fibers away from the strand, which is going to give you a really nice, even... Now, you, on this one here, I've got some that's kind of tied up in here, so you might take your bodkin again, see if you can't pull those pull those out, because apparently I didn't come all the way through a couple times as I was pulling this pulling this out, uh, which is no big deal. I, I mean, what you could do is um, is uh, just pull that one strand out and use use what's left. In fact, let's go ahead and do that just to show you that it's not going to hurt anything. See, there's the one that got knotted up as I was pulling out because I didn't pull it. I didn't pull it all the way out as I was pulling it through with my bodkin. It, that's why it's very important that you make sure that you pull these strands all the way out from the woven cord. So it's no big deal though. I'll just take the one that I screwed up and cut it off there and toss it out and then go back to my felting tool and pull out the fibers it's it's really this easy now on the other side you've got your and and, and then if you want you can keep the, what's pulled off as some dubbing material but i can make dubbing material real easy and i'm you know i don't want to bunch it up and have a bunch around laying around that i can just in a matter of minutes make my own so on this side I use this brush to uh, even refine it even more. And again, rotate as you're turning this thing, or as you're brushing this thing. And then you're going to end up with those fibers, just like I showed you in the sample that replicates this stuff exactly. It's the exact same thing. The only thing is they probably buy this stuff um, before it's made into cord and they just cut it down and, and sell it in, uh, in clumps just like this one here. But that's it. That's, that's all you need to do. There's your EP fiber from the uh, Bonnie Craft cord. Hope you uh, got something out of this. This is Mike. Until the next video, we'll catch you later.